Dear students, today we will start page layout ribbon. And within the page layout ribbon, we will finish the page setup group. So the topics which will be discussed today are margins, orientation, size, column, breaks, line number, and hyphenation. So let's start the practical. So we are on the same document and this is the page layout ribbon and here we are we have options related to page setup so there are different options available for example margins orientation size column breaks line number and hyphenation so let's explore them one by one so first of all there is a margin option so you can have different margins of your page so margin means that how much space should be left from left side right side from the top and from the bottom when writing the content on the document so if you go over here and you select margin like one from left like over here we have if we click on custom margin then you can have better visibility so at the moment we are leaving one inch from the top 1.25 from inside then from bottom one inch and from outside one inch so if you just say this normal then it will be showing you left side and right side so if you give more margin from top more margin from left so you can see the shape of your document so here we have two inch from the left side and so on so especially when you are making some big reports when you want to leave enough space from the left side while printing because you are going to bind the, your document from over here so for such kind of purposes you need more margins the next thing is the orientation so orientation means you can write from in the form of portrait or landscape so in the form of portrait this means that you are writing from top to bottom on your page so you have a standard size of page and you are writing like this but when you select the landscape so this means that your document or your page is now in this direction so it has been oriented in the upward direction so now you are writing on the page from left to right so you can try this option at home and then you can even try to print it on the document then you will see that what really means about the orientation of portrait and landscape so which is also available on this icon as well so this page has been shifted like this one and then the next thing is the size so when you are writing on the document there could be number of different sizes available so the standard size which is normally used in the offices is a4 size so when you click on on a4 size so this means that your document now have the option of a4 size it the content which will come on this page is a4 size so i need to change the orientation to portrait to really see this is the a4 size so sometime you have a bigger document or bigger pages available on which you want to take the print so in such a situation you can get more size like a3 and then b4 so there are different types of envelope size is also available so this is a small envelope so all of the content will be written like this and then we have the columns option available so when you are writing you need to write in one column or two column three column etc so for example if i say two columns so then you can see that we are writing like this so we are writing from here until here and from here the control is moving towards this side of the page which is the second column and then coming downwards 
and from here it is going over here then there is a brakes which are available so you can put a break anywhere you want so for example if I click over here and I say I need a page break over here so whenever I will click on this so all of the content which is downward this cursor so will be shifted on the next page so you can see that all of the content has been shifted so we have said that this is the only content which we want on one page and here we need a page break then we have line numbers we can add line numbers so for example you can say we need continuous line number so on a page we will have a continuous line number which is showing and from 38 it will go to 39 etc so if we say no we do not need continuous we want to restart it at each page so then in the next page it will again start from one and then we can also select the option of hyphen nation so you might have use hyphen nation when you are writing essays or uh, writing content on your page even by hand so this means that if we select this automatic so you will see if I little bit put it with a bigger font zoom in then you can see that when I select this one so you can see that this hyphen has been added so it the size of one line will be adjusted in a way that whenever there is there are more characters which cannot be fixed in this line so those will be put on the next line with a hyphen with the previous lines word so dear students today we have discussed these topics uh, the margins orientation size column breaks line number and hyphen nation so these were the experiments on page setup group in page layout ribbon